Hello everyone, Sinchir here, and today I want to talk about, well, to kind of put it in straightforward terms, have you ever thought about what it means to be you, or for other people to be them? This is something that I, I definitely think about sometimes, and probably not as often as I should, realistically speaking. It's this process of sort of self-examining the totality of who I am as a human being, and then taking that understanding and recognizing it in other people. So, for example, I look at all that I've been through in my life, all that contributes to make me who I am, all my memories and experiences, what I've lived through, um, all of those things that have come together to shape and form me, all of my circumstances, all of my personality. And then I take that understanding and I take it and I place it in other people in the form of recognizing that they have their own versions of all of those things. And it makes them complex and deep and uh, recognizes the depths of their humanity. Obviously, I can't know all of those details because, I mean, knowing all those details of another human being is, um, it's hard to know them for our own selves, let alone someone else. But just recognizing it in somebody else, like, recognizing it in my mother and all that she has walked through with her life and just what I know of her and just extrapolating from that, thinking about, you know, she had a childhood and experiences there and, you know, all through through her entire life and the sum of her life and uh, how much that is, or with my father or my sister, with my friends, or even just the stranger in the car ahead of me in traffic. They're sitting there in their car, just as I am in mine. They're thinking, you know, through their own thoughts. They're having whatever is going on with them. They have their own sets of problems, their own life, their own experiences that shaped and formed them. And something that I think about sometimes, like I said, not often enough, because this really helps build empathy for other people, I think. And it's a good practice to do, to just take time to try to recognize yourself from other people's perspectives and other people from their perspective as much as we can which is obviously limited but even like driving down the street i'm just another piece of traffic to everyone else to everyone else i am a car you know a person in a car just the way that they are a person in a car to me an object a vehicle on the road part of traffic but each one of them, every single person there is a human being with a perspective and personality and memory and history and experiences and circumstances and a life and desires. Or even just like seeing the people walking on the sidewalk down the street. When I pass them in a car, I'm just another car passing them by. A no one. And yet someone in some ways but they probably don't think about it any more than I typically think about a car pass passing me while I'm on the sidewalk. It's just we abstract away each other's humanity in so many little ways so often. And it's useful because it means we can function instead of being overwhelmed by the sheer complexity, the sheer depth of the humanity around us. But it also can make us callous and cold and hard-hearted and unwilling to recognize what the other person is going through, unwilling to take a moment and think about things from their point of view as best we can. This phenomenon is definitely exacerbated on the internet, of course, where we're just avatars, images, text. Maybe things with voice and video make us slightly more real, but even that cannot you know, it can be sort of ignored or um, minimized. And even when we're in person, do we really recognize the full weight of each life, of each person around us, of each individual walking by, the full depth of them, just as we ourselves as an individual have full depth. You have full depth. You are a person with depth to who you are the weight of your entire life and that's true of everyone all however billions many there are of us on this planet each of us has that depth has that life 
has that weight um, of significance, of humanity. And so easily it passes us by. So easily we gloss it over. So just take a moment to sit and think about it. I think it will do us all good. I think it will help improve our ability to interact with each other in meaningful and positive ways if we practice that. If we practice just taking moments every now and then to reflect on the depth, the magnificence, the fullness and complexity of the humanity of each other. Until next time, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.